Okay. Good morning, guys. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. It's going to be dark here. It's already almost three o'clock at Poland. Okay, guys, and it is going to be my first video that is going to give you some information about um, Lombok Island. I want to give you many things, many advantages information about Lombok uh, from the knowledge of uh, the places, the tourism, the languages and I hope it can be useful for every one of you who wants to visit Lombok Island. Okay guys, um, in this channel for the next uh, video I'm going to explain some details some uh, favorite places where tourists usually comes and spend their most of the time in Lombok and I hope you can enjoy it don't forget to share it to everyone who knows have a chance to come to Lombok Island as far as I know today that Lombok uh, has been one of the most favorite places for tourism to come in Indonesia after Bali and you know that uh, this year will be the first time of uh, Lombok Island to hold an event, a very big event, MotoGP and it's already become uh, one of the MotoGP circuit there where this year the first race event will be started if I'm not mistaken uh, it's already on the list that Mandalika MotoGP circuit will held the event on October if I'm not mistaken, but you can search it through Google where the exact information are spread it. And for all of you guys uh, who wants to come to Lombok Island, the first thing you must know is the languages, of course. And I hope by this video, you can find some useful information about this. Uh, you can learn about the languages. I will show you, I will uh, try to explain to you uh, what are the phrases, what are the things, what are the foods maybe, or everything you want to know about Lombok. Uh, because it is really important for you who will be the first visitor of uh, Lombok Island. I mean, if it is your first time to come to the island, then this information will be very good for you so uh, please stay on this channel and don't forget to share and subscribe subscribe it to everyone you know and who knows you have a chance to come to this island okay guys see you on the next video okay guys good afternoon i hope you are good and don't forget to stay on this channel enjoy the video so we'll, you will get uh, useful information about lombo and now <clears throat> i'm going to start for you to make uh, some tutorial or languages about uh, Lombok Island you know that uh, the languages we use in Lombok is a Sasak or we call it Sasaknis uh, and I am Sasaknis I was born in Lombok and I grew up there so I know most of the language we use actually if you want to know that there are so many languages 
uh, style or mother tongue in Lombok or in the Sasaknis itself. If I'm not mistaken, there are four dialects or four mother tongue that are used in uh, Sasaknis language. Uh, the first is uh, Selaparang dialect and then Bayan dialect, Pujut dialect and uh, the last one is uh, Pejanggik dialect. And every of this dialect has its different style of uh, talking, I mean style of speaking. It also have it also has a different phonetic. So when you pronounce it, when you talk to everybody, even you see it uh, as the same languages, but actually it has different in uh, how to pronounce it. Uh, how is the tone will be different. Let's say in uh, Pajangi dialect, when you say uh, back or uh, uh, yeah back behind behind you can say moody but in a slab parang dialect you can say moody moody and moody actually has the same meaning but different in the phone and also in the writing that's why i told you uh, that's only one example and i will give you all of this uh, in a detail later in the next video and today we will start with the very very common language when you come to Lombok I mean uh, some phrases that you will find or you will hear for the first time when you come uh, okay we start from the very very easy phrases Let's say when you come for the first time, uh, mostly they will ask you where are you from. What will you say where are you from in Lombok or in Sasaknis? You will say where are you from? You will say Mbe Ole M. Mbe Ole M. But this phrase is, is used for uh the people or the person uh, that is in the lower ages from you let's see if they are younger than you you can say where are you from but if they are older than you let's say in this case uh I am 38 years old and I talk to the people that older than me, let's say uh, 39 or over, I will say not mbe ole m, but I will say mbe ole de, mbe ole de, where are you from? Mbe ole de, this is for the people who are older than you, but mbe ole m, is for the people who younger than you or maybe in the same ages with you that is the first phrases you have to know when you come to Lombok okay we repeat again where are you from mbe ole m mbe ole m that's for the younger okay and for the older one you can say mbe ole de Mbe ole de. Where are you from? Okay. Easy. Easy, right? I repeat. Mbe ole m. Mbe ole de. Where are you from? And the next, you can try it anytime. And the second one, the mostly you will hear there is. Uh, your name of course because every time we meet with the new guy of course we have to know each other the first thing we have to know is at least we have to know by name what will you say in if you want to say what is your name in Sasaknis 
Okay, listen guys. What is your name in Sasaknes is Sai Aran. Sai Aran. What is your name? But that is for the people who are younger than you. It means you have to say it more politely if you talk to all the people. Uh, because we have a, a very special culture, we have a special treatment in this case, depend on the ages of the person. Uh, okay, and now how if I talk to the people who are older than me, I will say, what is your how if you want to ask the person's name who are older than you? You will say in Sasaknis, Sai Arande. Okay, once again, what is your name? Sai Arande. Sai Arande. Okay, the difference is very, very little with the first son. If you talk to the younger or the same ages as you, you just say Sai Aran, Sai Aran. But if you talk to the older one, you can say Sai Arande, Sai Arande. Okay, guys, it's easy, right? Next. The mostly things you will be asked or you can ask when you first come to Lombok. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What will we say in Sasaknis? Apa gawe melek te? Apa gawe melek te? Okay guys, easy right? Apa gawe melek te? Okay, that is also for the younger, for the younger one than you. How if we are asked to the older one, older than us, we can say, what are you doing here? You can say, apa gawe de te? Apa gawe de le te? You can say it, apa gawe de te? Apa gawe de le te? Just the same. It is a little bit longer. But if you can be more politely, then you can use the second one. Just the difference is le apu ga wem apu ga we de apu ga wem for the younger one or the same ages as you apu ga we de apu ga we de what are you doing le te means here in here okay guys easy yeah okay let's let me explain let me repeat again apu ga we Gawe mlete, apa gawe mlete? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Apa gawe de lete? Apa gawe de lete? What are you doing here? But for the older one, for the older one than you. Okay, guys. Okay, the next one is. The next one is. Uh, you will be asked about where do you stay, not where do you live, okay? Let's say you uh, stay in a hotel on, uh, or in a hostel or in a villa. They will ask you, they will ask you, Mbe Tau Mendot. That means where do you stay? Where do you stay? They will say Mbe Tao Mendot. Mbe Tao Mendot. That is also the same. 
uh, if you say mbe tao mendot that is for the people who younger than you or the same ages as i explained before okay but if you are asked to the older one you will say mbe tao de ndot mbe tao de ndot okay guys easy right when you are asked mbe tao me ndot where do you stay where are you staying the same if you translate it into sasaknis uh, that will be the same nothing is changed like english when you are asking about in the form of present tense or present continuous past continuous past tense nothing is different in our languages we are very flat language we have a very flat languages that's why i told you actually sasaknis is uh, very very easy okay i repeat once again if you are asked mbe tao ndot where do you stay mbe tao ndot where do you stay you can answer let's say you are uh, staying in a hotel in a singigi maybe singigi beach let's say in a jayakarta hotel maybe you just say aku dot le hotel jayakarta aku dot le hotel jayakarta or maybe if you say dot dot here means uh, you stay for period long of time you just can say because dot meanings in uh, in in uh, what to say in this case dot actually means you stay for a long time let's say me if i say where do you live where do, ah sorry where do you live um, without my dot then i will say uh aku dot le lombok that means i live in lombok aku dot le lombok that means i live in lombok but in this case, if you are just stay for maybe a couple of days, uh, you just stay in a hotel, you just answer, uh, you can answer, Aku mare le hotel Jayakarta. That means, I stay, mare means actually, or oh, you stay in the night. That means, uh, you sleep at night that 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 is the meaning of mare actually so you can uh, use it for answering it that means that uh, they will understand you that you just stay for a couple of times not for all not for all day long i mean uh, not for the the long period of time so you just can say aku mare le hotel jayakarta Let's say you want to say, uh, I stay in a Jayakarta hotel for uh, three days or one week. You can say, Aku mare le hotel Jayakarta telu malam. Or, Aku mare le hotel Jayakarta telu jelu. That is the same meaning in this case. They will understand you even with a different kind of uh, phrases different expressions that's no problem they will understand that you are staying for a couple of times so it's easy right okay let's repeat uh, when you want to say i stay at the jayakarta hotel for three nights you can say aku mare le hotel jayakarta telu malam i stay at jayakarta hotel three nights you can say aku mare le hotel jayakarta telu malam aku mare le hotel jayakarta telu malam okay guys easy right 
and for the next phrases you have you have to know is uh, okay guys uh, we repeat from the first of this video I'm sorry I forget to tell you how to answer uh, every question that are uh, addressed to you uh, let's say you are asked in this case and mostly you are asked yeah you are ask it person not you ask the person I mean the people who live in Lombok but you will be asked then I have to share to you how to answer it okay we start from the first again uh, if they ask you mbe ole m mbe ole m datang okay it, it is more uh, complete and they usually use it also mbe ole m datang where do you come from where do you come from they will say mbe ole m datang where do you come from mbe ole m datang then you can answer very simple you just say mention the name of uh, the place the name of the country is up to you let's say if you are from uh, Poland or Europe or USA you just say uh, America if you are from USA because mostly they will say America in uh, Lombok when they mention USA they don't know USA they only know America so when you are asked uh, where are you from where are you from you can answer America America that's all they will understand it or maybe you are from uh, Germany they will say German you cannot say Germany they will not understand if you are from German you just say German if you are from Poland they will know Polandia. Let's say I am tourist there, and they will ask me where are you from. Then I will answer Polandia. That's all. You just mention the place or the country, no problem. Uh, they you just you don't need to. Let's say I am from like uh, lang like like English language. No need. They we just need to tell them. The, the country where we are from let's say you are from uh, Belgium you just say Belgia if you say I am from Belgia Belgium you just say Belgia or you are from French maybe you just say Prantis they will know you are from France if you say Prantis you answer Prantis if you are from France Okay, now how if uh, we answer the question about name? It is also the same, very simple. Just directly mention your name. Let's say they ask you, what is your name? Sayaran. 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 You just say your name directly. You don't. You just don't need to namas. My name is, or like uh, our. Like English language, my name is uh, Robert, maybe, or my name is John. Or you just directly mention your name. If they are ask you, let's say your name is John, you just say Sayaran, Sayaran. You just answer John or Johnny. It's up to you. Whatever is your name, you don't need, you do not need to say my name is John like uh, English language. No, not like that. Uh, Sasakness is uh, very simple, guys. Okay, uh, let's repeat from the first, okay, guys, so it will be more clear. Uh, we have already three phrases that uh, discuss in this video. The first is uh, where are you from? What is your name? And then where do you stay? Okay, let's repeat. One by one, okay. Be ole m datang, be ole m datang. Where are you from? Where do you come from? Be ole m datang, be ole m datang, and then you can answer. Let's say from Germany, you just say German. 
or you can answer also completely it's no problem but uh, it is not in common there okay you just say a colleague german if you say i am from german germany you just say aku oleh german or more complete you can say aku datang oleh german that means i come from germany and then the second one if you are asked about your name saya aran saya aran what is your name you just answer your name directly your name let's say your name john saya aran you just say john or johnny or robert and etc and then if you are asked about your staying let's say bill tau mendot where do you stay where do you stay be tau mendot be tau mendot you just answer aku mare le le means here is in or at okay aku mare le it's okay so you can mention any any names you stay in let's say in this case you stay in a hotel you can mention the name of the hotel and then you can say uh, completely let's say you want to say i stay at uh, jayakarta hotel you just say aku mare le hotel jayakarta aku mare le hotel jayakarta okay guys very easy right uh, i hope uh, this video will be useful for you and i hope you will come to lombok as soon as you can don't forget to explore every things every interesting every interesting things about lombok from the food from the places from the nature from the beaches anything so from the culture and here i will help you to give you some information about this okay guys hope you enjoy it see you on the next video and see you in lombok